Hello guys, welcome to Mad Black Tech. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the automation, how a, a centralized automation or a controller-based automation works. Today we're going to be discussing only about the wireless controllers and what are the different types of controllers that we are using in this premises, where we have connected lights, fan, uh, AC units, and then we have a Philips Hue also, uh, which is called a color lighting. So we have uh, other different automation products like locks also uh, integrated into it. So we're going to be talking about different types of controllers installed here from different brands and how uh, these different brands talk to each other and why we insist on going for a controller based automation. So this is uh, where the DB box is. What are the controllers installed here? We have about uh, four controllers here which control the entire uh, house. So the entire house is automated with the lights, a fan, AC, TV, set-up box, your uh, Apple TV, your soundbar, uh, your curtains. Yeah, the, the next would be the curtains, how the your curtains operate and how the curtain communicate with the controller. All this would be coming on the next videos as well. So today only about the controller and what it does and how it has been connected. So let's jump into the video now. So first let's start with the basically uh, smart things hub this is the first uh, hub we have connected here uh, this actually uh, right now controls a couple of lights uh, then it is connected to a bedroom uh, door lock also so this is also a, a hub based and a controller based automation which comes with zigbee z-wave uh, can be controlled out of this so you can connect locks curtains uh, thermostats lights uh, even color lightings so they, these, uh, this particular product uh, can connect, communicate with a lot of, uh, for example, uh, I would say that if you have a SmartThings TV, uh, Samsung SmartThings comes with a uh, inbuilt uh, OS in, in the TV also. And this hub can control any of the product which is connected to this particular hub. Uh, for example, let's say you have a, a TV which is hooked up to this particular uh, SmartThings hub. That can be triggered through your door lock or that can be triggered through your door sensors. I would walk you through that process, how I have integrated this for this particular premises, how the SmartThings work with the lock, lightings, uh, door sensors, even the TV, uh, the soundbar, uh, yeah, for example, the Bose soundbar is also integrated into this. So everything can, can talk to each other. And uh, the, uh, for IP to IR, you will have to connect this device with, uh, it, it is compatible only with the Harmony Hub, uh, pre uh, Logitech Harmony Hub, which is pretty expensive. Uh, so we have not connected any of the IR devices to this. And I would walk you through that on how many switches are connected, how the lights are connected. And this can even talk to a, a Philips Hue Hub also. So you must be asking that if if, there is, if the Philips Hue Hub is there, why do we need to connect it? So we though we have a Philips Hue Hub, which can talk to Philips Hue uh, lightings, uh, that in, can, uh, in turn, you'll have to again have a different app which can talk to only Philips Hue uh, products. So if you have a SmartThings Hub, the Philips Hue can be integrated into this and they can also talk to each other as well. So this connects a LAN port and there is a power which is connected to this and this is very simple configuration and you need to have a SmartThings account. Once you have a SmartThings account, that is that in turn connects to the cloud and talks to other products, which is like in case if it's a Wi-Fi, then it connects through the Wi-Fi uh, cloud account. And then it talks to, for example, if you have a Sonoff switch, which is a cheaper Wi-Fi switch that also can be integrated into this. Sonoff, uh, in case if you have a Sonoff uh, Zigbee modules and other thing, that those modules also can be uh, connected to this. The next comes controller here is an RGB controller from Milanity. Uh, this is only a module. I would say it's not a controller. Basically, it's a module. And this is a Milanity controller, which we widely use. And it is a product of... Indian product and which is very stable, rugged and uh, this is basically an uh, uh, RF device. Now uh, they have come up with a Zigbee model which, which can connect with Zigbee and RF devices as well. And this has a lot of integration facility in this like how I said about smart things. This can connect to Philips Hue Hub and it can connect to RGB products, it can connect to uh, RF locks or it can connect to even uh, any of the AL automated locks as well. So what I've done here is uh, we have connected Milanity hub or a controller we can call it and this controller is connected to a lock through a send and receiving module which is an A lock and here is a module which is which uh, helps you to communicate between the lock controller. So the advantage of this is basically it gives you two way uh, notification. So basically who opens a door so you, you will get everything if the door is locked if the door is unlocked locked by whom in case if your fingerprint is registered to a person for example let's 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 take me uh, if i come to the house at eight o'clock and uh, uh, the minute you swipe your finger 
this uh, receiver would be able to identify who uh, is the person that was checked into the house and would be able to notify the owner of the building. So that's about the lock and this RGB controller is connected through Wi-Fi and this controller is connected, uh, this RGB uh, uh, module is connected to the hub using Wi-Fi and it's called an IP address which it can connect and talk to each other. So the advantage of RGB controller is for basically uh, mood lighting. The next uh, comes the Philips Hue hub. Uh, this is, uh, I'm sure you would be able to find this everywhere on the internet. Uh, the main advantage of the Philips Hue hub is basically all the Philips lightings uh, talk seamlessly with the Philips Hue hub. And this is a, a LAN port hub and doesn't connect through Wi-Fi. So you have a power on a LAN port, it has to be connected to. And when you're connecting a controller or a wireless controller, make sure that it is placed uh, in the center of the house so that you can talk to all the devices evenly and you don't have a range issue. So yes, every wireless device has its own limitations and based on the room, door, uh, barriers and other things. So this is one of the central area, uh, which is a DB uh, box here. So we have arranged it in this way. So we put all the controllers here. So we have got a Melanity controller, Philips Hue hub and a Melanity RGB module and a Samsung SmartThings hub. The Philips is connected to uh, almost uh, RGB light. We have a strip cove light connected to this and we have uh, three uh, RGB bulbs connected through uh, to this Philips Hue hub. So that, that's about it. And this Philips Hue hub in turn is connected with Milanity also. And at the same time, it is connected with the SmartThings hub also. So that, that's the advantage of this. So you can connect mix and match devices and e if the devices can talk to each other. So that's all about, about the how the controller uh, are placed and how it has been configured. Every controller has to have a LAN IP address. So that's why well, one, two and three devices uh, have a LAN cable connected to it. I'm saying RGB module is also connected through the LAN cable here. So even, but this also supports Wi-Fi also in this. Uh, but however it is, we always recommend uh, people to go for a LAN port uh, because the connectivity, uh, the stability is much better when compared to the Wi-Fi connection. So this is how uh, wiring has been done. So it's been all dressed. So why we have not uh, concealed it or what is, in case if there's any issue to troubleshoot, this makes it even more easier to control it. So now uh, uh, Milanity, uh, Philips Hue hub, Milanity RGB module and a SmartThings hub. So these are the power adapters for respective uh, controllers. Uh, that's how the unit works and this comes with an antenna as well. That's about it. Thank you, see you in the next video.